Welcome to Grumblings of a Gaming Grignard. I'm Tom. I often watch Dungeons and Dragons tutorials, and I think they can be incredibly helpful. I don't know what I don't know. So I almost always learn something. In addition, some of the contributors are very experienced and they do a terrific job. However, in an early one, one of the more well-known contributors said something I took umbrage with. Directed at Dungeon Masters, the contributor said, If the players are happy and having fun, then you're having fun. He emphasized that point several times, and he didn't really expand on it. Okay, my thoughts. DMs should absolutely endeavor to try to ensure that their players are having fun. This is a game, after all. So, everyone plays for fun. That said, DMs should also try to create scenarios that are challenging and require the players to cooperate to achieve goals. However, I don't think a DM's fun is merely predicated on whether or not the players are happy and having fun. That puts the onus directly on the DM, and not where I believe it should be placed, on everyone present at the table. And on the individuals themselves. In my humble opinion, DMs should design and run scenarios that they are passionate about, that they, as DMs, would like to play in, not at the expense of the players, absolutely for the players, but first for themselves as the DM. Any game or scenario should first be something the DM enjoys and wants to run. If the DM is trying to ensure that the players are having fun, if they are striving to ensure that whatever they are doing doesn't warrant them a starring role in RPG horror stories, and I would argue most importantly, if they are running something that they are passionate about, then the players will come, and the DM has a better than average chance of having fun themselves. It's a difference of semantics, but that difference is important. Outside of D&D, &D, psychologists will tell you you are not responsible for others' happiness. Sure, you're responsible to others, and you have a lot of influence on others' happiness. If you're self-centered, emotionally abusive, or if you have some burning desire to control others, choose to be a jerk, etc., etc., yes, you can and probably will make others more than unhappy. Those awful situations aside, everyone is responsible for their own happiness. Unless we do something intentionally hurtful to another person, the feelings that they experience are those that they have created for themselves. Whether their enjoyment is from the company of friends or from a scenario created by a dungeon master, happiness and fun come from within. In fact, for some, internally taking responsibility for others' happiness can cause anxiety, according to psychologists. One example of this phenomenon is called toxic guilt. People who are highly sensitive, caring individuals naturally want the people in their lives to be happy, to experience well-being. However, for some, it can easily morph into something unhealthy, where rather than wanting to contribute to others' happiness and well-being, they might find themselves being people-pleasers neglecting their own happiness, their own fun, in order to make others happy. So what to do? As a DM, try, by all means, try to ensure that your players are having fun. When designing scenarios, I ask myself, would I want to play in this scenario? If the answer is yes, then I'm probably on the right track, at least for me. We live in a unique time. Dungeons and Dragons is more popular than it has ever been. Once the confines of what I would argue was a relatively niche group, albeit still with a lot of individual quirks and idiosyncrasies, today 
the appeal of Dungeons & Dragons has vastly increased. It has mass appeal that would have surprised the gamers of the 1970s. I would also argue that those who play Dungeons & Dragons today do not necessarily neatly fit into a category that they might have decades ago. With a larger group, there will be a greater diversity of personalities. That is awesome. It also presents an increased opportunity for differing expectations and personality clashes. With that, we're all responsible for seeking out those whose personalities best mesh with our own. We all, not the DM alone, we all are responsible for our own happiness. Just because we all play D&D doesn't mean we're all going to mesh. In the end, telling DMs if your players are happy and having fun, then you will have fun, is not enough. There's much more to it than that. I will end my diatribe there. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and roll a seven-sided die.